What's up, guys? Uh, d d this is just me wanting to actually uh, save my comment section from something and also inform people who probably don't know. Uh, in this episode, you're going to have Star take Marco's phone, and it's when she takes Marco's phone because she's going to say she really likes his ringtone. Now, when she plays the ringtone, I have a face of, huh, okay. Well, uh, that, that, that's a thing. But it turns out this is actually a real song made by uh, Perry Grip. If you don't know who Perry Grip is, you're talking about the guy who also made Yummy Yummy <laughs> Yum Yum Breakfast Burrito, uh, Pancake Robot, uh, and Space Unicorn itself. Uh, there's a cat licking your birthday cake, and all sorts of things. I've actually heard this guy before because if you ever had a Flipnote Studio, he has been a very prominent use of uh like material to to base their animations off of and it, which is great also i also want to use this time to say uh, the uh, the episode 4a and 4b are being posted out on different days because that's how i uh, initially scheduled them why because i actually did these these a long time ago actually i just completely forgot i did them and it turns out when i was fixing my computer up and stuff like that i accidentally put these two episodes into a folder and i just completely forgot about them so i'm sorry about that but hey now i'm back to star wars Force of evil and you're gonna have consistent days of star wars Force of evil reactions isn't that great so it 4a 4a and 4b is gonna be uploaded on separate days however when it comes to episode 5 6 7 and 8 you know those rest of the the rest of the episodes they will be posted up on one day uh, so yeah, that's basically all I wanted to tell you guys. Please enjoy the reactions, and yeah, sorry about not remembering that I actually did this a long time ago. I I, I been I, I could have been uploaded episode four. So yeah, this is uh, the UMB universe again with the reflex of saying this is the ending, but it's not the ending. You're gonna see me for a whole nother who knows how long. <laughs> and uh, it, bye. What's up, guys? It's the UMB universe, and I'm gonna get started on uh, uh, Star Wars vs. Evil episode four, which is gonna be the A portion of uh of this which makes it actually episode seven and that uh episode is named cheer up star so i'm expecting star to get depressed or something or something in a matter of dire emergencies because if star is upset it's either the universe is about to be destroyed or you know you're gonna have a room filled with tears so well uh, well any further things to really get into discussing matters of when it comes to the series and how i'm apparently a psychic uh let's just go down in the google drive dimension which is in the link in the description below for the reaction and if you would like to hear the end review please come back and then enjoy the end review because that's the thing that i do when reacting to things because that's the thing that we reactors do so yeah uh, i'm sorry you see it's very late and I, 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 and you know, stuff happens when it's late at night. So, yeah, let's just, just get, get started. Whew. Three, two, one, now. All right. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. This episode is called Cheer Up Star, and yet it counter, you know, balance with both Marco and Star. So it should have been Cheer Up Marco and Star. But then the end of the episode wouldn't really make much sense because Marco was the last one to try to cheer up Star, so I guess, okay, why not? So, it's basically a setup for then the payoff, then the payoff to the setup. Uh, Marco saying, oh, well, uh, I wonder how we got into this scenario. I'm like, yeah, how did you get into this scenario? When did these guys get so strong that they have to run into a shed and stuff like that? And then he's being vague all, all this entire time, apparently make his ar making armor. And then it turns out he had a bad day. He, I don't know the rest of the song. I was going to make the one that had a bad day song, but I don't remember the rest of the lyrics, so I'm not even going to try. We had a bad day. Uh, those other things happened. Star cheered him up. And now, uh, now uh, Star has this crush on this one guy that looks like a combination between Marshall Lee from Adventure Time and that one guy from down the street. But uh, we're just going to say, uh, crush love interest thing going on right here. Can't wait to see how that's going to spiral into madness or not work out because I don't think this is going to work out if I've known shows for as long as I have. But if it does, hey, that's pretty cool. No, it probably wouldn't be. But, uh, the, the, the entire dynamic of the episode was actually pretty well paced. I got to say that much. Like, uh, my, we went through Marco's little dilemma pretty quickly, knowing about why he wanted to help Star out so much. And knowing Star that she would really like to this, uh, the, to beat the bad guy, which is like her thing. She likes to kill things or brutally beat them or maim them, which isn't killing, which is the closest thing to killing you're going to get. And, uh, because that guy didn't call her. 
Yeah, this is the whole point of a relationship. He's just like, why don't you text me back after I texted you like two minutes ago? Man, man, I, I thought you were dead. So it was like those sort of things. But in her case, it was a lot longer. This guy's a jerk. I'm just already just going to throw it out there. If you have a girl like Star saying to call, call her, you call her like literally two, maybe an hour after she gives you your phone number just to see how she's doing. Because Star, not going to lie, really, really cute. Really, really, uh, I love her personality because I love uh, girls with the type of outgoing personality and not afraid to speak their mind in any scenario and still manage to be uh, downright crazy in her own cute way, I guess you could say. Uh, but yeah, okay. Uh, so Marco's method to try to cheer up was to lure bad guys in with the wand, apparently uh, uh, attracting more people than he would have liked. And then Star came in, we got to beat them, and yeah, she got yeah, happy, but then she got ecstatic because he actually did call. So yeah, that that is actually a dynamic that they're going through, and it wasn't just like a one-time thing to actually make Star go through this horrible, horrible deal and have this one guy be the worst person in the universe, but that that's just what happens. Now, I like the jokes that, that, are, that are put in here, like the whole... Where'd you get these new monsters? And it's like, you notice yourself that these aren't the same monsters that you saw in those other previous episodes, that they did have some, like, simplicity to them and uh, consistency to, to them. And you got this guy with spike ball hands, and you got this other guy with... Oh, jeez. It's just, okay, they have to have these new guy designs that have to make you like, okay, so these guys look new, so i got got to be a little bit more powerful and having their back against the wall. And I gotta say, from these episodes that I've seen, Star in her abilities outweigh anything that you could say Steven has done so far. Right now, I've got, I got done with the episode Steven Floats. Yeah, we see Star learning something new or showing something new every episode, and some of these things can cause catastrophic, ultimate, whatever the heck, my god, truck destruction. While Steven gets these small little power-ups, and his only fusion attempt is with another human, and Stevani has yet to show any sort of actual battle-oriented things, many people are already speculating, me, myself included, yeah, me, myself included, uh, that, that with Connie's skill with the sword and Steven's uh, skill with the shield and Lion, they're pretty much going to make what we already image Rose look like. That's an image I can't wait to actually see come to life because I really hope they actually do that. But as for Star, yeah, I don't know why people are doing a death battle. Like, okay, but still, my, my whole death battle thing is they're going to become friends with one another and one of us is going to die of old age before the other. And if Steven's like Jim has anything to go off on, his lifespan is going to be a lot longer than Star. Unless Star is part of that alternate dimensional race that their age just, like, doesn't work. And I swear if there's actually a dynamic where her age is completely different from what other people can go off, like she's a thousand years old right now, so she's going to watch all her friends die, I'm, I, won't, I won't hold this show against that. I actually would. So, whatever. Whatever. We're just going to get started with the, with the next episode. Just, like, get, get that going. Get that Get that going. Okay, I really am enjoying the series, and it, it, re it really does put a smile on my face, obviously. So I hope you all are also enjoying the series, because at least you're better, because you've been requesting it, like, out the wazoo every single time I'm taking too long to get to it. So, uh, uh hopefully I'm appealing to a masses, and I'm going to get started on the B episode. So, yeah, this is D1 Bit Universe. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye.